Hi, today we're going to be going over The Last of Us, uh, and we're going to be focusing on the prologue. Tommy, I... Tommy, Tommy, listen to me. He is the contractor... He's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? We'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> All right, good night. <sighs> Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? Kept complaining about your broken watch. So I uh, figured, you know. You like it? Uh, honey, this is. It's what? nice, but I. I think it's stuck. It's not. What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha ha. Where did you get the money for this? <laughs> drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. you to focus on as we go through this playthrough is how the game integrates gameplay and narrative. What readings does that remind you of? Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something... Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Notice the transition into gameplay is incredibly smooth here. Um, there's no break really in the cutscene. It immediately all? immerse the player into the world. Um, what I want you to focus <sighs> on here dead. in the next few minutes is the pickup objects that I interact with. These are all optional pickup objects, meaning that if you're not really looking for them, a player can totally miss them. Like this birthday. Oh, dang card. it! I forgot to give this to him. And with this birthday card, this is something that develops characterization with the message on the inside. It helps us understand who Sarah is and who her father, Joel, is. If you miss this, you miss a point of the plot, but this is something that the designers view as ancillary to the action or gameplay. Take a look at some of these posters. Uh, those of you who have played this game before um, may see some foreshadowing in the binary that happens, right? We're already getting set Dad? up with um, a daughter figure and a father figure. Um, look for visual patterns when analyzing um, that support this. The duck's in the corner here, too. This is one of the most compelling pieces of extra plot that we won't get if we don't explore the house. The game is rewarding exploration in this way. Here we understand a little bit more about the infection that has taken place. Daddy? You in here? Seem to be somehow connected to the nationwide Where the pandemic. heck are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show signs of it's increased nearby. aggression and... Out of here now. There's a gas leak. Hey, there seems to be some commotion here. coming from... Hey, get the hell out of here! Right. Uh, here we see a news report. What is that? Um, and then immediately the bottom left trigger oh, button, uh, or stick button, 
highlights for us. This directs our attention. Dad? So this is it happens throughout the game where uh, if the developers wanted us to focus in on something that's integral to the plot, that trigger sound goes off and we okay. have the option as players to either look uh, and have our vision directed that what way or completely on? ignore it. Uh, again, this is a narrative choice. There's his phone. Eight missed calls. Where the hell are you? Call me on my way. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just, just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Something ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? This is another moment of quick switch Jimmy? Uh, Dad? from come gameplay come to come cinematic. Come that Bogost really cares Jimmy. about. And Jimmy, I am warning you! No! no. 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 You, you shot him. Sarah. I saw him this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tell me, come on. Man. You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. Hey, man, let's just get out of here. You're saying half the people in the city lost their minds. Can we just please and go? And we're back in the game right here, here where, uh, as Sarah and over you tell me what happened? control Later. where we look and hey, Sarah. how close we examine. Are you holding Again, up? A player does not okay. have to do what I'm doing here. They do not have to pan around. Can you hear us on the radio? Uh, but panning yeah, around sure often gives you a better sense of the Thanks. world that you're entering very slowly. No cell phone. No radio. Yeah, we're doing great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. They said where to go. They said, uh, Army's putting up roadblocks on the highway. No getting into Travis County. We need to get the hell out. Take 71. That's one day. They say how many are dead? Probably a lot. We found this one family all mangled inside their Call house. Me. Right. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. Of course, they're saying it's just the south. Nothing going on about the east coast, the west coast. Holy hell. That's Lewis's farm. I hope that son bitch made it out. I'm sure he did. Are we sick? No, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's right, he did. We're fine, trust me. All right. Let's see what they need. Think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joel. So do we. But we have room. Hey, Keep hey, driving, stop. Tommy. Stop! You see what I see. Someone else will come along. You should have helped. Mother had the same damn idea. We could just backtrack and. What the fuck, man? Let's go! Oh, 
Stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them, Joe. Back up there. They're behind me, too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. We're about ready to switch to Joel's perspective here, and this is a character shift halfway through the narrative. What I want you to focus for the rest of this playthrough hey. is on the button from there. Hey. And how the narrative kind of is constrained and accounts for player choice. So as I make my way through the streets here, I need to do something like danger, but in fact, the game is actually guiding me to the end of the This is often how games kind of corral us into doing what we, uh, what they want uh, players to do. Dad? I'm here, baby. I'm here. Come, give me your hand. What is it? My leg hurts. How bad? It's bad. I'm gonna need to run. Keep us safe. Come on, baby. Now hold on tight. <laughs> My daughter, I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Sarah? 
Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Baby. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. All right, I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. There are hundreds and hundreds of bodies lining the streets. Panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed under martial law. All residents are required to report to their designated quarantine. Riots have continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. Remember, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. Believe in the fireflies. I'm coming. How was your morning? Want one? No, I don't want one. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? <laughs> well, that's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Son of a bitch, he's smart. <laughs> He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. 